This conference will now be recorded. Hi everybody, it's Vicki from Vacations and Voyages by Victoria from Star Stuff Travel. Today I am joined with Brianna from Palace Resorts. Hi. Hello. <laughs> How's it going up there in Jersey? Oh, you know, it's great. A little bit of a gloomy day today. Unfortunately, we have thunderstorms, but oh. wishing we were in Mexico or Jamaica. <laughs> right, me too. I am ready. I am so ready, but I'm more excited that the world is reopening finally. I love when Amen. I get those Amen. Yep. emails and posts and yeah, I am so ready. I know. I feel like we can finally see that silver lining. I feel like we were kind of in limbo there for a while. And now I think everybody's just ready to go. Ready to get out of our cages and go yeah. somewhere. So Brianna is from Palace Resort. So um, do you want to tell me a little bit about yourself, like how you got involved with Palace and things like that? Then yeah. So I kind of came into the travel industry from a, a back door, I suppose. Um, so I actually started within the wedding industry. Okay. So I started in weddings. Um, I went to school for hospitality. And right out of college, I was I went right to New York City and I was working for a luxury bridal showcase company who actually Palace was my client there. Mm -hmm. um, and then once I was worked for that company for a couple of years, I moved over to which a lot of people know the knot. I worked for the knot for a long time okay. um, and we were always in communication with Palace there. And so I, I kind of knew from the wedding side and I was completely in love with the wedding packages and everything that Palace had to offer. So when I decided that I was going to move from New York City back to South Jersey, um, it was kind of just really good timing where Palace was expanding their business development team and the one territory that they had open was South Jersey. So wow. I, I big man. Yeah, so it was really lucky and I've been with them ever since. I've been with Palace since November of 2018. Okay. Um, so I've been here a little while now and it's, it's been great. So like I said, kind of came in through a back door. This was my first strictly travel. I mean, I was doing destination weddings and everything like that. And, and that was kind of how I fell in love with palace, but now it's cool that I see it from, from this end. So that's how I got started. That was awesome. Yeah. Very nice. Um, I remember the knot back in the day I had registered there. They did a great program for their brides and things. Yeah. So, um, yeah. so with the resorts, um, where are some of your palace resorts? Now, I've been lucky enough. I've stayed at the uh, the Grand Moon Palace in Cancun right. a few years ago. I loved it. Mm -hmm. So yes, so we have ten properties all together. So okay. eight of them are in the Cancun area hotel zone. Um, we have one in Isla Mujeres, and then okay. we have one property on the west coast in Los Cabos. So that's LeBlanc. So nice. underneath the, the Palace Resorts umbrella, we have Palace Resorts, and then we have LeBlanc Spa Resorts. Okay. Um, so underneath LeBlanc Spa Resorts, there are two properties. So we have LeBlanc Cancun, which is the flagship property. So that was here first, and that's right in hotel zone. Um, okay. So super convenient, really close to the airport. Um, and then in February of 20... 2018, February of 2018 we opened LeBlanc Los Cabos. So nice. that's over on the West Coast, um, right in the Golden Corridor. So you're right between um, San Jose del Cabo and Cabo San Lucas, which is great. If you're familiar with where Grand Vilas is, we're right next door. Okay, uh, you know what, I've been to Cabo back in 2018. Um, so I you know, drove it all and I've checked it all out. So I know where it is. I love it there, I'm dying to go back. Yeah. So. No, it's definitely my favorite destination. I, I had never been there prior to this job and prior to that property opening. And it's incredible. It really, really? is. The sure. views, just just the destination as a whole. I mean, obviously the property is incredible, but the destination as a whole, I tell everybody, if it's something you haven't experienced before, definitely do it. And then we also have a new property opening yeah. soon. So oh. we have um, Moon Palace Punta Cana opening. Hopefully Ooh. 2022 is what we're shooting for. Um, so it's a brand new build. It's going to be very similar to the Grand at Moon Palace. So okay. it's going to be a, a luxury family property. There's going to be a water park, a golf course, um, mm -hmm. rumors have it, a casino. Oh. So, yeah, so that should be great. Fingers crossed. Um, more to come, hopefully opening 2022. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> um, very nice. Okay, so wait, so you said there was Cancun, Los Cabos, and Jamaica, right? Just one in Jamaica? Okay. Yeah, yeah, one in Jamaica, it's in Ocho Rios. So okay. we're about an hour and 20 minutes from Montego Bay Airport. Okay. And I know sometimes people are like, oh, it's kind of far. 
But the great thing about the area of Ocho Rios is that we're so close to all of the major attractions. So we're five, 10 minutes from Duns River, Mystic Mountain. So if you ever want to go somewhere in Jamaica where you're so close to cultural markets and then all of these great highlights, perfect property. We're right on the cove, not surrounded by mountains. It's not a bad ride. It really isn't. It's really not. It's really not. And it's funny too, because we do have, we have pass, we have our own transfers and our drivers, they make it a fun experience. So they'll point out fun things along the way. So we're like, it's like an added tour. If you wanted to do a tour, here's where you seen Bolt went to high school. This is where Bob Marley used to live. It's fun. It is. Yeah. It's, it's not a bad ride at all. Yeah. So, so your resorts are adult only and family friendly. Correct. Okay. So, for our palace properties within the palace brand, the properties that are adult only or couples only. And now I always, the way I like to explain it is there's three different types of resorts for palace. There's okay. family friendly, adults only, and couples only. So okay. the difference between adults only and couples only is that at the couples only property, we only offer king beds. Um, okay. So they don't have to be a couple. Just let them know that if they're sharing a room, they're going to cuddle. Um, so as long as they're good with that, then they're good. Um, so underneath Palace, Sun Palace, which is in Hotel Zone, that we actually just did brand new renovations on. We did about 20 million in renovations. Wow. Um, that just opened right before the pandemic. So um, hopefully now people will get to see how beautiful it is. Um, but that is a couples only property. So it's okay. great for weddings, great for anniversary trips. Um, our LeBlanc properties, LeBlanc Spa Resorts, both Cancun and Los Cabos are adult only. So those, we have rooms with double beds. So they're great for girls trips or couple getaways and really anything. Um, as long as you're an adult, it's an incredible property. Right. I, when I did Cabo, I did it. Um, me and a girlfriend went down and then my sister took a friend and we went and we did our girls trip. So yeah, had good times there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And, you know, sometimes I'm always torn. Like, I want to stay at, like, the adult properties, but then I also want to be a kid and go on water parks and water slides. So. I know. I know. And especially at the Grand, the water park there is huge. There, it is. It, it's incredible. It's it's wild. And I always make jokes because there is one slide in particular that you have to be 5'3 to get on. Oh, God. <laughs> five foot. Five foot. So I was like, our water park, it's not like, we don't have like a slide. It is a water park. I was like, there's a slide I can't even go on. That's how crazy it is. Well, you got to do your jersey like, here to give you a little height. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know. I was like, next time I'm going to wear pool shoes that have heel. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so since you did bring up, um, you know, COVID and closing down before it, what has, has your resort, has your resorts done anything during this time frame? Like, yes. So during the beginning of the pandemic, I mean, we as a sales team were grounded on March 13th. So um, we were not allowed to travel to properties or anything like that. And then every single property closed, all 10 closed. Mm -hmm. um, during that time, we completely implemented a brand new safety procedure, uh, safety procedures and guidelines. And again, a lot of the stuff that we are doing is stuff that we were already doing. So none of it was brand new to us. But now a lot of it is going to be visible to our guests eyes. So when you come on property, you're going to see sanitizer, there's going to be temperature checks. Um, we of course have um, platforms on the ground for social distancing. Um, all of our pool chairs and everything are sanitized daily as people use them. Um, so it's going to be a lot more to just make people feel safe and comfortable. Mm -hmm. um, and our properties have such incredible cleanliness guidelines to begin with that. Okay. Yeah, no stone unturned for sure. So I no. actually look on YouTube. We actually launched an entire campaign about it. It's called Purely Palace. So okay. if you just go to Google and type in Purely Palace or Purely LeBlanc, there's actual videos of us walking you through the check-in process and everything that our properties are doing to stay safe. Um, so you can always check that out too. If you awesome. to I'll, I'll make sure to post it too. So on the pages yeah. where we have that. Yeah, That's for sure. You know what? It's the new norm. It's going to be like that everywhere, whether you're in a different country or, you know, here at Disney, you know, everywhere yeah. is going to have, you know, new protocols. So absolutely the new yeah. normal, the new but, normal. I the know. New and I, you know what? I think everybody's adjusting pretty well. I think at the beginning it was a lot of unknown because I think a lot of us thought that this was going to come and go and yeah. it would go immediately back to the exact 
old ways that we had. And, you know, I think we're all adjusting well on it. There will be always a learning curve, but it'll be good. It will be, yeah. Hey, and when we kind of have no choice at that part too. Yeah. yeah. Um, one of the things I wanted to talk to you about is the Palace Foundation and what you guys do to give back. Yes. So we do have a philanthropic organization called the Palace Foundation and we do tons of things within the community. So you, if you actually go to Moon Palace Cancun or the Grand at Moon Palace, we actually have an office right on property. So okay. if you ever wanted to go, you could stop in there, purchase t-shirts, all of that money goes directly to the foundation. And some examples of stuff that we do in the community is we actually have a children's home. So that okay. children's home is basically where we take orphaned children who may not have anywhere to go in the area and they're actually boarded in this home. Um, they have a bedroom, they have family within that home now, all of their meals. Mm -hmm. um, we've taken these children to Disney World. So tons of stuff going on and then those children are up for adoption. So we do advocate for their adoption. Wow, okay. And it's just really, really incredible. I tell everybody, I know you can schedule tours. Um, unfortunately, not when the children are there, but if you did ever want to go tour the home itself, um, we do have tours that set that up. So it's it's an incredible foundation. It really, really is. So um, if you're ever at the Grand or at Moon Palace Cancun, we have an office there. So definitely go check it out. There's tons of photos. Um, there's merch you can get. It's incredible. That's awesome. That is awesome. Um, and since we are talking about giving back, um, let's talk about the other promotion right now that you have going on, a way to either give back or keep for yourself kind of thing. But <laughs> <laughs> we'll give you the option. Um, so right now we have a really incredible promotion. It is a buy one, get one free room. Um, so I know it sounds what? kind of fake when you say it out loud, but it's true. If you buy one room, you get one room free, completely free. Um, so the booking window for this is now through June 30th of 2020. And the travel window is now through December 30th of, I mean, December 20th, excuse me, uh -huh. um, of 2020. So that free room, you, you can use it for yourself. You can use it in tandem at the same time as the full rate room or what we've seen a lot of people do, which has, been incredibly heartwarming actually is that they are gifting their complimentary room to a first responder um, so if you know okay. a nurse a grocery worker anything um, you can gift them that room and send them on a little vacation for themselves um, that room is there's no taxes no gratuities it is just a completely free room they just walk in check in and they check out and they have a great time and relax for a little bit so it's an incredible promotion to take advantage of especially if um, if you have anybody in your life who's in need of a vacation, I definitely yeah. know there's some people um, who need it. Oh yeah. Besides that, yeah, no, there's some people yeah. that definitely need it. I mean, and I'm sure everybody is touched some way in their life, whether a first responder in their family or you know a friend or you know just in their community that they've seen. Yeah, absolutely, um, absolutely. And it's been working well. And like I said, it's been it's been humbling to see the amount of people who have done that. Because really, at the beginning, we were trying to, because I'll be honest, we didn't even think of being able to do it that way. And then everybody was like, you know what, let me let me give this my, my sister's a nurse. Or you know what, my brother works at the grocery store, you know, what? They're, they're going through it. And you know, I think yeah. everybody needs a little bit of me time. And They'll get through this. We'll get through this. And everybody likes a little time in the sun, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> that works yeah. out. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. That is awesome. Um, well, I appreciate you taking the time today. Is there anything else that we missed? No, I mean, I think that's it. I mean, our properties, they're open. The Grand at Moon Palace is now open. Um, LeBlanc Cancun is now open. Moon Palace Jamaica is now open. Um, we're hoping that LeBlanc Los Cabos will be open the first week of July, fingers crossed. Um, and the rest of our properties will hopefully soon follow after that. Um, mm -hmm. So definitely, hopefully we see everybody on property soon. Hopefully I'll be down on property soon. Um, right. We've been posting on social media. I mean, we have guests there and everything's going going great so hopefully now we have that silver lining we're going to run with it people are, are going to start to travel again i know we're all ready um and it's going to be good itching. going forward. people are itching you know i know yeah. myself i am but i think once you know it really starts going you know yeah. and picking up it'll be easier but i think so yeah so no this is awesome and i'm so so honored I was able to do well, this with you. This is I appreciate you taking for having time. Me. So, but anybody, um, that's it, everybody. Thanks for joining, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. All right. Bye.